Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's happening folks, it's Son of Beast and I am here with my broadcasting partner with Wit Spooning. And this part of a night's game, this is only the only game in game three that's happening here for just one. And that's right. Other games will be happening here for tomorrow night, right in between at 7.30 and at 10.30. Well, because at this point, we've got a great matchup and we're ready to see what goes in. The Boston Bruins are facing against Toronto Maple Leafs. And this is the next part of a the game. They are at Scotia Bank Arena, the next location in round two of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. This part of the next of this matchup, I will have it in between the range by Samsonov and Linus Olmark. While Swayman has still got a lot of big saves out there, we're hoping to see if Olmark can definitely play with us here, but he's kind of a little bit of like not sure if he wants to take it. Well, it's pretty, uh, pretty up uh, delightful, but it might be hard what they are going to have to call for, so we'll see what they can do. For our next commentary is up, I will have his paintbrush, and he's also along with Terry Crews, and center ice is Lightball. Now let's get your game started. Bajanats, McAvoy, and Bar Marchand are ready to face on against Matthews, Nylander, and Mar Marner. These are the groups here, and we are about to see who can make the next win. Off to Scotty at Bike Arena. Game three, here we go. It's game three at Scotty at Bike Arena. Paper Shield along with Terry Cruz and it's light bulb in the center ice. Time to make it happen in round two and Canada. All both teams are set ready for the face up and here we go. Let's get the show on the roll. Libraries can start things off and we are underway at Scotty at Bike Arena. The star pressure puts it in for Coyle. Coyle right towards the right wing, now has it in. To the leaf zone, it's stopped by Sentinov. Matthews has got the puck. Back the RA goes to Lebushkin. Goes to puck, way right on the knees. Nice, trying to hold on to it. He uses the puck and big. David Pashanox will have it over now, trying to get it boy. Here's Coyle with the inbound. Spins around the other side of the angle. Shoots it. What a great block here. Boston Bruins are back into the offense zone. Now we'll have a diagonal again. Marner broken up the play. And then the face of bench. Oh, I don't just don't know how that happened already. But that is like a biggest hit. They're expecting of what they are going to do now. I can't even believe it. That one turned it over to Marner. He said, really? I ain't had enough of this one here. They got be fumbled out. And a shot releases! Big save by Swayman! Nylander finds Riley for the function! It's incomplete! But that's not good enough, finds DeBrus. DeBrus trying to make his way down right towards the right wing in the lead zone. Shoots it from the rack range! And sets an will cover that puck here back to Lugrin. Play still alive, here's DeBrus. Shoots it! Knocking it in here, that won't get out of the way as Lugrin will have it again back to Bertuzzi. The Leafs are back in the offense zone. Nylander in a backhander. Brown two chance. Big save by Swayman. Nylander backing over again. Now finding the pass. Lorraine got it again to Zaka. The Bruins are on the attack. Here's Van Meyer's shot. Big save on the chain. He stops it over to Riley. Now finding Yonkrook. Yonkrook lost that puck here. And exiting out the blue line. And now back to Shaden Kirk. Hook it again over to Geeky. Players a shot! What a wild save by Samsonov! Easier enough now, because that one's playing in for a little bit of aggressive out there. They're really making this a lot of the changes off it. At that point, that firing rocket's gonna almost take it over. Nobody has that one either ever make the call out of it, but that is gonna take so much hard to put the goaltender to make a stop. He's not injured at all, but he's still okay. The Bruins are on the attack. In the middle, not enough to beat the goaltender. As it went off to the net and it went toward the wall as it went wide. Heinen with the puck now in the corner. Pass is broken up. Tavis with the puck now back the airway in the Bruins zone. 
spins around the move party Brody. That's blocked. Exit out of the zone as McKay will have it. That finds Brody, and he will have it over in the Bruins territory to give it back over to McMahon. Brody shoots! No deflection given in here as Frederick will have that one taken out. McKay with the puck. Finds the pass over to Nate. Wilberspoon's got that puck with 53 to go. Wilberspoon with the puck in. Controlling the angle. That one's way off the mark and it's went right behind the net. Here's Frederick. Shoots and say Puts up by Sensen on. Frederick battling with a loose puck. Taking it out of here. Here's Wilberspoon. Over the line goes shot with big save and play. Over to McAvoy. Oh, it's up the defender. Now finding Matthews. Matthews trying to work his way across. Shoots. Locked it up in traffic. Matthews trying to handle the group. To deflect it in. It's what stayed out. Ray Sue with the foot. Now we'll have that bunk it out. McKay finding Bennett. Bennett trying to work his way across to Matthews. Fling it around in that. This one misses the target. But Jersey's got it this time. In the range. Big save on a play by Jeremy Swayman. Stop the play under 15 minutes. You know, that's a great chance out there. And you always know, keeping it work out of here. And this one is really keeping it inside of a line at the moment. That one keeps it in here for a great target release, man. You know, but Jersey was giving it over with a great uh, looking open play. Trying to beat over Swayman. It was not really the typical way to have that one in there coming. But that really is putting a great stoppage. I'm having a lot of big of a save in there, but that's a, uh, another increasement for the goaltenders to have the match. They're really making this one a, a great chain. Domi on the 2 on 1 pass break. Loose that puck here and now for any quick set. Basha knocks this guy at this time, and even they'll have it over again to McAvoy. McAvoy right toward the way. Fires the puck out. The Bruins are back in the offensive zone, not by McAvoy. McAvoy across. To Schubert in. Big stop by Samsonov. Domi now finds it over to get in the bed. And he now finds Patrizzi over on the other side. Moves around the middle. Broken up the play here. Rebound in the puck. Now finding Bennett. Bennett to the backhander. Not enough to beat the goaltender. Swayman stops the puck with 12.50 to go. With the call of Charlie McAvoy, he has one of his stick him up ability on his facing challenge. He has that one with a better defenseman, and he has a lot of a great stoppage to this play. The better rebounding is not really what they were expecting to, but he can always play, play on it. And, and a great lock defensive set, he's trying to get that one with a stick him up and try to stick it away and have it in there inbound. I'll find out if McAvoy has a defensive effort to take a release. Officials are getting set ready for the faceoff. No score here between Toronto or Boston. And here's wins the faceoff. Riley holds a puck in. Mark McMahon has it over to get a Lemushkin. Over now to Tabers. Tabers battling for the loose puck. Trying to keep it out. Here's Tibiers. Shoots it. Cough save. Swayman will have that one bucket in. We get ready for another faceoff with 12 14 to go. Zaka. Loray has it again to Carlo. Bumps it across. Great stop here to play. You know, bumping out is not really what they all expected for their defense. On a hard take, it's not turning to be what they're easy for. But they are really expecting it to play it like the better way to have a driving. You know the angle, it's not just turning to be great to take the, take the man out of it. But that easy side check in, chest check, I mean back check, I mean they're all everywhere. Not that way you're coming in to cross him down to hit the attackers in the way. Now has it again to Labushkin again to Matthews. Toronto watching out for the upside call. Martyr, now bringing your team in Boston zone. Good stop by Swayman. Now he still finds Martyr. Martyr can't hold on to the puck. Now back to Carl. The Bruins will have an answer in. He now has it again to David Pasternak's. Turn away right 
Riley will What a great stop and a release, man. As Riley tries to cut that one and release out of here and get the puck in going. Labushka will now have his chance. Back to Reeves. Over and out of Holmberg. Holmberg shoots. Save with South by Swayman. Went down on him. And Lorraine will have the chance in. Back the airway. Moves around the puck. Here's Pops with a shot. Good save on the play by Simpsonov. Reeves now has it over in the inside of his own. Flings the puck out. Now it will be the other side right now as so Ray will have it over. Passing the midway mark of the period in the first. Geeky. No chance here. Now it's back the other way as so Homer will have it again to Domi. Domi. Can't hold on with the puck. Gives it again to Brody. Brody tries to swing it again to Domi. Domi, a crossover. Hide him with the puck steal. It's just keeping it in there, but that, they always think the puck steals out of it. They wanted to get that one away. Big save by Sevzanov. Hiding him back to Greswick. Frederick with the chance. Sevzanov puts it up on a blocker. Greswick shot. Oh, what a play down here for Bruins. But Sevzanov has that covered up. Still a lot of time left in this period. No score in between. It's still Oaks. Domi wins the faceoff. With nine minutes left, here's Paterzi. Paterzi now finds Nylander. Nylander can't hold on to the puck. Yes, Nylander will give it to Paterzi. Shot. Paterzi scores! Great chance here for Domi. And that's Paterzi with his first goal of the night. That's a play to there. That might have been a great way to have it all. Now sometimes that Patrizzi made it in there. He made this a go over the top of Domi. Had save, but then the wraparound came in. That was relentless. If you give it over with a pass after another open look to Lelang, bro, that one gets it over to Patrizzi. He had that first goal coming in there. Got a great go. Sorry enough for the least more goal. That's in the midway market. As they make their way in, as Havers wins the face off. He now finds Jumper. He goes outside. 8.48 to go in the first. Now they're off to set for an hour face off. And the way we put up to Beers. Lukwin's got that puck, fires it out. Greswick's got that puck in, not finding Bovis. Bovis can't hold on to the puck. A lot of great attackers as McAvoy gives it again to Greswick. Greswick trying to make his way through. Looks it over. Weed the Weasel. Marco. Go to the way as Young will have it over. Back again to McMahon. He's on in talking. Marco Boy's got it this time. McMahon tried to grab the rebound and puck. Young Cook back it over again to Brody. Shoots and big save by Sleeman. Now plays it over. Brody shot. Not enough to be it over. Right behind the net. Bobas now has it over again to Marco. Bruins on the attack, trying to find an answer back. To even up, no, Simpsonov says. Brody with the back save and putting it back the airway. Right along the cross. First shot, you scores! What a chance here. Turn up there, up for the answer in a 2 0 game. That was excellent for Brody. He just had that little lead in the cross right now. coming by, but that goal tender seemed not to be happy already in the first period. But hey, this is what they start with. Let's get it done and correctly, so that way we can stand up and get right to work. Patrick Smith's the face off as McKay began to bend. 7-13 left to go in the first period. Here's Warner, soft with a pad by Swayman. Here's Saka, with the puck on the other side of early spin. In the wing, Bennett gets a grabbing puck go. Over now to Matthews. Matthews trying to make his way down. Loose the puck effort. In the corner, finding Matthews again in ace. Knees losing it. Shoots it! Save again by Swayman. McAvoy now finding DeBrus. 
6.30 left to go in the first period. That's blocked up. The rebound puts it in. Now for Ice McAvoy. Good save by Samsonov. He'll hold that puck in and get ready for the faceoff with 6.22 to go. Now the team's ready for the faceoff. 2-0 is the score. And the win for Domi, now back to Riley. Finds Nylander. Nylander right towards the, the left wing, he now finds it over to Bertuzzi. He shoots for backhand, and not enough to beat it over. Swing it while trying to stop the puck here with a little nearing a six minute mark in the period. All two in our face up and ready. Domi wins the face off. Nice catch by Swayman. No ending the goals in. I can see what's going on for Jeremy Swayman. He had that one with a very pretty save. But that wasn't really just what they were expecting it to do. All that happened, they didn't really fake care about it because that one almost went in toward the goal. That was a little bit too close to have that one call in between. But let's watch carefully if there is another takeover. Neilander with the puck now, racing towards again for Terzi. Shoots it! For the rebound, he scores! What a slam for Domi! That is 6-3-0. In case, you got Domi to have that one coming back in. That one takes it over. Jerry Spangler just had a little bit of frustration. You know, because of that goal, it's just really putting it in there. That one takes it over. Wheel icon. Great shot in. The connection of this one here with Domi has that one here coming down. The extension is coming in. Danny Swayman is having a little bit of an issue here. He's trying to find another way if, it, if there is an emergency goalie backup, if they're ready to have that one coming out. Because that's going to take a lot of time. You have to make sure they are pretty uh, secured up and then set for in. If he doesn't get it this time, then Lena Solmark will be able to take it over. That will be the next one to keep an eye on it. I wish you did for Terzi for two for another one. This one is deflected off and now finding Terzi over again to Riley. He's like Bushkin. Astronaut Scott this time, another get for the Boston Bruins. Shoots it! No man, that's a great glove save by Samsonov. Easier enough to say this play. That is a like a gripping and then grab it on. Austin Matthews has a shock and odd ability. He takes all of his chance in. He makes it an easier one than trying to get the goaltender with a quick reaction. David Pasternak is one of their better release fit, and this one will have a longer distance shot to have it in. That's why he has a snipe zone ability to have it in there. It's great to have that one in perfection, but hoping to have that one long shot and put it in. I'll find out for those two that there's an in-between of a choice range for Matthews and Pasternak. This is one of the great matchups in between. I'll find out if there's another takeover with a great look in between, guys. Carlos oh, shoots. Be ignore him careful at that point. That's another save by Samsonov. On his way to Matthews' just shot. Oh, Swayman makes a save. He holds on to that piece. Looking to make something happen here for Zucca. And a blocker chain here. Near the corner of the wall, finding more chance. Safe with up. Oh, what an excellent takeover for Lindgren, and now back to Marner in the other way. Marner has that puck. Loses that one. The breast with the upper side of the zone. Gives a pass over to Zaka. Loses that one. Now he sends it over to Brody. Brody trying to get over right towards the left wing. But a shot. That one's broken up the play. Carla back to Marchand. Here's another take. The pass over is broken up by Needs. 3.25 left to go in the first period as Matthews will have it over. That one takes care of a lucky hit. And the brush is gone at this time. Big on a hidden chain. Never misses defenders on. Back to Yarnbrook. Deeps a pass to Brody. Brody fires that puck around the net. And it's Loray with the puck back the other way. On a chain finding Heinen. Heinen trying to make his way across. Bumps it across. Two releases. This one's south again by Samsonov. Brody on the attack. On the pass over. Broken the chain here as Heinen will now have it back. 
McAvoy to get to prison. And a firing pass to Frederick. Here's McAvoy. Shoots! Save! McAvoy with the rebound. Tries to go with the back end. That one makes another stop. Frederick to get a high end. Almost going to be a full pressure take. But now Tavares takes that puck away. Under two minutes remaining in the first period as that pass broken up. Here comes Frederick. Going to have it out of reach. No, he did not have that one right, Paul. That Samsonov picks up another save. Can't believe it. That's what Samsonov is trying to get it done. Now, I have no idea how that happened. That one hit off the blade. He's limping. And he has to rush over into the, into the bench to get down there. And then get off the ice as soon as he can. Well, it's been already like a, a hard night for him. Well, for two games, it's not always easy when you try to keep it up. Domi wins the faceoff. Nylander's got that puck in the corner of the board, taken away. Nylander's got it back. Two it away. Moves around. Returns he shoots. Save by Swayman. Here in the final minute in the first period, three out to score for the Leafs. Now the win for Bertuzzi, and then this one will give it over down to Shane Kirk. Over now to Laco. Laco right towards it away. Shoots it. Save puts up by Swayman. Here's another take for Bovitz. That one bit deeply misses the pass. Lockwood now finds Shannon Kirk. Shoots it! Save with a play with Samsonov. Stops it a whistle there with 47.2 seconds. Well, they're definitely out of full pressure in range. I mean, I have no idea what's going on, but that is really taking over a lot of it here. Off into another face-off. Getting ready for another take. Boston wins the faceoff. Well, we're screwed up. Save puts up. Oh, uh, trying to hold that puck in there, but there's no penalty call on Boston Bruins. David Pasternak's trying to get him out of the way. That kicks off the pad. Pasternak's on a shot. Big save with a play by Simpson on. Nylander trying to grab the puck back and not finding Coil. Demarchand. McKinney draws that pass broken up. Save puts it up. Oh! Chance here! That was in pressure range, and another one stops in. Oh, the clear one that happened to get a Samsonov. Pretty lucky there. He's got enough. That would be a big lucky moment. Get another save in. Coil wins the face over 10 seconds. And it's up and over, and this one stays out. Nice take here for the Leafs as Marner will bring their team to end the first period. So that ends it up. Three hours to score, beating Swayman on an unbelievable, shocking start for the Leafs. But we'll get to the second period when we come back after this. We are up and set, ready for the second period at Toronto, Canada. We're off to start things over for the second period. Right in between those two, where do you call for? Where do you get this thing settled in? As of right now, I have a great look of a recap in between of those two. This was a hard part of it, but as you may already have just seen it coming in by, I loved it when they are playing really well. Do you think this was how hard it is now? Because I've seen it playing it for one of their bigger lifetime. They have a great ones to take. Well, you can always expect it for right now for most of them. I was seeing it that they were playing it really, really well. You know, offense is not always picking it up for that moment. And nothing was going to keep, keep it able to be in there because that was a hard part of it. That had to be in there for a longer time period. And the frame here was just not really turning like how that happened. They can't get there that far. So is going to stop the puck and get ready for the next face-off. Official teams are set, ready for the face-off. Three hours to score for Toronto. And now with our face-off frame puts in for Boston. Here's another one for Pachinox. Fits it right towards it, right to the outside of the offense. Over to Marchand, shoots one. That one gets chopped up in, and now it goes again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi kicks the puck over, now finding Lebushkin. Over to Riley, on the other side. The outfit's picking up the stream. 
puts it over. Can I boost in? Shoots it! Big rebound, Terry! Big stop by Swayman! Oh, that one's gonna take lots of time effort. And I was not even seeing what goes in. You can always smell the things out. That playing ball is just not turning to be what they're expecting for Swayman. He's picking up a lot of saves. I mean, he's got to watch out for it because there's a little bit of heavy traffic here. Might turn it over for him in between. Got to keep it going. Here's Hyman with the putt. Two on one opportunity. Great stop in the play is now like Bruce will have it over. Again, Domi with the putt. Toward the right wing. Here's the and the shoots it. Save puts up by Swayman. For Jersey, get to Riley. A second chance up front. This one stayed out of here as my goaltender comes up with a save. Zaka stays down. Here's Nylander. Heavy contact. Nylander to shoot one. Save puts up by Swayman. 17 23 to go in the second period. Now the win for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Moody shoots. Two wide. Over now to Warner. Warner here and again to Domi. Here's for Warner. Chance to point. Oh, big save by Swayman. Oh my goodness, what a stop. You know, that was going to take a lot of a time angle. And this one is not going to turn them all easy enough because that play angle was just hard to go with the pickoff look. And that didn't really care for all. Oh, hello, moment out there. That is a big hit. <laughs> this somebody's going to have to, like, Go right to the medical room already, because because you know that happened right now. I mean, you got a big ambulance problem, and then that thing gets someone's gonna get hurt already. Gotta watch it carefully. Nice with the puck, and he loses the possession. Lorraine's got that puck. 16, 10 to go in the second period. Pasternak will try to do it again. Now finds the pass to Marchand. Marchand on his way down. This one's blocked the chain. Will Grant now by Antibius. Antibius with the putt in the middle. Gets the number eight here for Boston Bruins. Now the Bruins will have their possession here in a wing. Tries to fire the shot. And then bounce. Sends it out. Covers the puck. 15.32 left to go in the second period of the game. For the next couple of games, this will be happening here for tomorrow night. At 7.30, the first game will be happening with the Lightning as they're at home to play against the Hurricanes at Amalie Arena. That will be their first stop location. And then at 9.30 p.m., we'll be at Winnipeg at Canada's Life Century. That's their next game on the air side. As we only have another one to keep an eye on. It is the Jets facing against the Stars at Winnipeg, Canada. And then follow along here after that game will be the Oilers, not really, but the Bowling Knights facing against the Canucks at T-Mobile Arena. That game will be also coming to along to have a start at 9.30 p.m. game, or 9 p.m. game, we can call that one anyway. Go with that choice. But that will be all the games here, only on set of beats. Catch all year round by watching the NHL postseason. The complete series of the season in between from NHL 22 to this year of the postseason of NHL 24. Now here's Light Bushkin with the puck. Now right into the right wing. Tries to make his cross. Here's Domi on the pass to the eagle. Oh, what a big score if it's saved here by Swayman. And the puck leaves his own. Oh, that one's going to take too much timing of the angle. That's going to take... A lot of effort to get through. They really are picking up speed at that moment. They can't leave that one open at the right angle at the time. Hopefully that may have been a changeover or anybody. Eki to shoot above save. Excellent work for Sansonov with 13, 30, 40 go. With the nearing down the midway mark, still a 3-0 game. The Serrano leads are up ahead. Three. Camp wins the faceoff. Brody now finds Lindbergh again to Holmberg. Holmberg fires that puck around the net. It's off to Riverspoon. Sliding it across now finds it over. The pass is broken up. Holmberg over in. And Riverspoon will have it out. Moves it across. 
Turn to left wing towards the center. And that one sticks it over to Lundgren. And the airway goes now to the leads of the Bruins territory. Off to camp. Shoots it. Big save on a chain by Swayman. Carla picks the puck. Now has it over to give to Wimmerspoon. Towards the middle. Top up. Brody's got that puck. Now firing again to Mitchell Marner, again to Austin Matthews. Watching his play. Not even a play chance call after Coyle with the puck steal. Number take in the middle. Here's Pasternak. He loses the puck in a skill range challenge. And Pasternak gives it to Marchand. Big stop by Sanzan. Unbelievable moment. Marchand can't hold on the puck. Double man on Amos Nays will have it. Knocks back the airway. Shoots one and a stop puts up by Swayman. 11.41 to go in the second period. No score for the Bruins. Now they're ready to have another face-off chance at the Bruins zone. The win puts in for Coyle as Carlo will have that puck in. Range for a passion Towards the middle, shoots it, it's deflected off the skater, and now finding again to McKay to Domi. Domi trying to make his way across now to the other side. Carlos got that puck. This one makes a big kick, and Coyle will have it in. Sliding the puck in through, what a stop by Samsonov! Moves right toward the wall, and now back to Nylander, on his way back to McKay. That one's going to take a lot of easy saves for Samsonov to bring it in there. That one is taking a hard pressure out of it, but that was a very close call. Swayman holds on with the puck with tight 44 to go in a second period. Now the win for the Leafs. And that one stopped it again. Oh, battle rage for Youngbrook. Here's a chance, Swayman! Big save on a chain with Van Duren in midway mark of the period. Stops it with 10.32 to go. Can't be easy enough to try to pull it. Now they're up to another face off, ready for another puck drop. And the win, Riley shoots. No deflection here for the Leafs. McMahon loses one. Goes like, well, back again to McAvoy. Fires that puck up. And Riley will have it over now to McMahon. McMahon! Oh, just took a little big whip out of him. Resnick will now have it over to get into DeBrus. DeBrus finds Heinen. Heinen. Right to order shot. Big glove save by Sephiroth. Under midway mark of the period. Still a lot of time left here for the Bruins to get the goal if they can get there. It's not always what the easier is, but when you always say for Ayoya Samsonov, that one brings a lot of his intentional way to get this thing through. Not just what he has to go with. If he has some another strength to get in here through, he's got to find another way to get, to get right to it. And yet, to another uh, great offense to have that stride coming in. It's not what they all expected, because that is really what they all know for. Get right through it, and get that one done. Now the win for the Bruins. Trying to face his way back toward the other end. Waterspoon. Slides across. With the shot, he loses one as Austin Matthews with the steal. Here he comes, right toward the right wing. Oh, Matthews holding on to the puck. Shoots a glove save by Swayman. He is not looking to shut things down here. We have another goal as the, the goaltender comes up with the reaction to deny that shot. Well, you can always say what happens to right now. The ultimate captain here for Toronto Maple Leafs as Austin Matthews. He's definitely played it. He scores again. What a great start for Rampage here as Victor Warner with his first goal in game three. Well, this is what they all expect now. Victor Warner got a great on coming. You know, after he went down, Hit the crossbar and it went back in. You know, that one was a great tip in for an up high angle. And it just went right for the back of the goal. It just made up in there and straight away. Great goal, great chance.
Now it's the extension. It's now as Jeremy Slade is in now in the bench zone. Your new replacement will be Adina Saltmark. Back in the airway it goes after the end puts up for Jeremy Swayman. Well, that's it now. I mean, it's all over for him. He played really well. Gotta have to do it right the other way. As right now, Austin Matthews has to take their kids, hurry. Well, playing him for well, one of his alternate captain, he played him for one of his better reasons. He's done really well. The national team has happened to be one of the better saves in this game. He has been making his first overall draft pick in 2016. That was in the United States that happened here. In California, Matthews was definitely moved to Scottsdale, Arizona. He had been playing a baseball and a hockey during his childhood. And definitely watching the local team of the Phoenix Coyotes play. This would happen to be one of their better names of the United States Hockey League. He played for the ZSC Lions of the Swiss National Hockey before they being drafted in NHL. Well, that's a part of the Swiss Cup he has been playing it for. That was the first one where he has definitely have been playing it for the longest way. And if you don't know what Swiss Cup is, that's part of Switzerland's game in the league. That's what they all expected now, to have that hockey federation in for the game. All happens with addition to be the last one. Here's Nylander with the puck, up to a narrow run, and Paterzi broken up the pass, that's Shane Kirk's got that. Now he finds the other way, now finding that pass over. Nobody have an open look, as Lindgren will have it. Takes a swift down, Domi's got it now, pass to Paterzi. Paterzi's flying and flying in, and it's Nylander. Big block for stop made by Elitis Allmark. And Coyle will have his chance back to Marchand. And a save by Sezanov. Here's an air one for Bennett. Bennett's back the air way, now trying to have a puck back. Carlos got that puck away. With seven minutes going by, Pasha knocks a big save by Sezanov. Toronto's back the air way. Dumps the puck into the burn zone. Now Carlo will have their chance in. Here's Pasadox right towards the other side of the zone. Nearing the blue line, this one stays out, and Carlo will have his own chance. Back to Pasadox, again to Zaka. Zaka right towards into the slot. Here's Line and Shot, big stop by Samsonov. Just 6.20 to go in the second period. What a great chance here. Now they're ready for an earth face off. 4 0 is the score. They've been a better team over the over the, the American team and better before beyond the mark. Fires that puck out. Lorraine right now finds Heinen. Heinen got loose in the bumble stick here. Young Cook's got that puck. Lift again. Carlo now find a puck. Flying his way down, 2 on one Oh, big stop! What a save by Sevzanov! Oh, that was excellent. Sevzanov couldn't really make the mark out of it, but that one really changed it all. I was really shocked enough he was going to get there through. The win for Austin Matthews is now Riley will have that puck. Labushkin will now have it over it again to Warner. Finds Riley. Loses that puck as Bobas will have it. Matthews has got the puck now finding Knights with 5.19 to go. Second period coming down halfway. For a rebound, this one has been stopped by Omar. Carlo back to pursue and now Bobas will have it. Moving around, Lybushkin now finds Knights. Under five minutes left to remain in the second quarter. At the period, this one's missed the target. The Bruins entering the attacking zone. Brazier shoots! Big stop by Sazanov! And the airway now finding Riley to kick the puck over now. Again to Labushkin. Passes to Marner. Marner on his way down with a 2 on one pass break. In the corner, no good. That one's been stopped on. Lena Solar. Nay still recovers it. Finding Marner right towards nearing the net. Rudy. Tatomi, fire 
Anderson. Off the target angle, and back to Coyle, again to McAvoy. McAvoy, over now to Pasternak, shoots it, and it stops again. Bye, sets it off. Well, they're missing the target again. I don't know what's going on. But they really are not just picking it up that way yet. they got to find another room to go with that shot opener on the target. McAvoy kicks the puck out of here, as now Pasternak will have it. Brody recovers it, now finding Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi right toward the right wing. Towards the inbound, here's Nylander. And on a stop and a breakaway chain, the other one broken up. Poor D. Toronto Maple Leafs to the Bruins. Pasternak's trying to get that puck in back. Three minutes go by in the second period. Marshan will now have it over. The swing off the coil. Shoots in for the rebound. I went behind the net. Lilligren now gives a pass over to Nylander. Nylander fires up, puck out. Nylander behind the net, trying to keep the puck out of here. Where is it? Now back to McAvoy. McAvoy swings it across to Zaka. Zaka, loose the puck in his own. In the corner now, finding the game to Brock. Shoots, save puts up. The Brock's with a rebound. Go for again, quick free. Samsonov got the pace of it, denying that shot. This one really keeps on coming in now. Samsonov really had that one coming back down, and they're really expecting that. He made a great stopping effort. As Sabres wins the faceoff, here's Slybushka. Two minutes left in the second period. Yarnbrook fires that puck out, and right to the near in the corner as Carlo will have it. Gives the puck over now, finding his way down. Zaka's got it across. Passes over to Heinen. Heinen right toward the middle. Shoots! That pass stop made. Riley's got that puck. Fighting Tabers. 90 seconds left to remain the second. McMahon over to Yorkbrook. Lost that puck angle. Bigger shot. Big save by Alinus Omar. McMahon to Lebushkin. Now finds Riley. Riley now trying to make his way to be a shoot to big save. Yarncook now finds Lebushka. Big hit on a tackle here right near the blue line. Heine now has that puck in. Under a minute left to go. As who shoots it and save. Puts it up by Sensenov finding Holmberg. Holmberg finds over to Riley. And Camp's got it across. Keeps the puck out of here. Well, Ray is back the other way. Gains his own for the wing. Looks for a pass. Shoots it. Not enough to beat the goaltender. Sazanov has got the puck. Will stop the play for 23.2 seconds. Now both teams settle in for their next faceoff. 4 0's the score for Toronto. Bruins miss the faceoff. Here's LeRae. In and out. No. That one stopped again by Sazanov. Pretty easy to clear that one because if LeRae was trying to throw do some another attacking zones. He couldn't find an open way to get with that shot in there. That one stayed out of it, but there's no other way that they can definitely do it. And that will end the second period here. One goal ahead for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and we'll get ready for the third period. We'll find out if the Bruins have their goal answers back after this. Hi folks, it's Wood Spinning here. I want to talk a little bit more about the Boston Bruins and the Maple Leafs here for the rivalry matchups. After seeing things in between here, this is what they all expected right now because of both of them playing in the rivals at the time. This was not easier enough to have that one scoring and coming down. But that was how hard that took it over. There's no questions of how this happened. Because of this point, both teams are the original six are the teams with the very first guys playing in Boston in the admiral seasons of the 1924-25 season. From 1924 to 2020, the two teams met each other in a 16 playoff series, and they faced each other in a one Stanley Cup points. This would happen to be just almost anything that is possible to, to keep it in there. And then the rivalry has since been renewed for the 2013 Stanley Cup playoffs which they saw the Bruins rally from a 4 to 1 third period and it fit it did the sink to defeat the Maple Leafs in overtime. 5-4 and advanced to the second round. 
The Bruins and the Maple Leafs are facing each other in the 2018 19 and of course this year in 2024. With the Bruins winning all four series and seven guns. This was what they expected of how that play happened, and they have really been dominating this appearances in every guise. No other sir can definitely take things down, but Boston Bruins beating the Toronto Maple Leafs. But the Maple Leafs may have another way to get this one slammed out and try to stop one here. That could be a little bit hard and difficult to session, Mike, but this is not what they always seen how that happened. And now, Let's get back into the third period, as I know this will be the closing part of the game. We'll find out the Bruins have an answer with their goals. Back to you boys. Woods Bruni, out of here. See you all later for the post game show. On now to the third period. Hope you're having fun with us, but this is where it comes down to this. For just one game that happened, and now the third period is underway. All right there, Terry, I have a little bit of a feeling of how you did, of how they did. Can you tell me how did the Maple Leafs done that one here in the second period for this point? Yeah, I can definitely say that they've really been, like, pushing their way up across the limit. They're really are starting to go into the lead, but I have never seen anybody that does like that. And, you know, because the Sansa and I have been a team, they've been trying to work their way across. Not always easy enough when you try to get it over into, but I have a lot of a strange feeling of how they are going to do. Because they've really been playing that one hard. They are just getting that rival thing started in here in the playoffs. And this was that uh, happened here before. Last year that happened was the Devils versus the Rangers. That happened here in 2012, I believe, because that must have been uh, consequences that must have been playing in here. Ever since then, nothing's going to take you down. Like you all do for them. Yeah, I have a lot of better feeling in that range already, but hopefully the Devils will try to figure things out for a new season. We'll see if they do. Shoots it stuff made here by Dean Solmark. Another take. Say, shoves it away here by Spice. Olmark, aggressive give again to Marchand. Marchand again to Pachinat. Who's it in? Say, puts it up. Unbelievable traffic motion. And there's the late penalty call on Boston Bruins. Well, there we go now, because that's what they're doing, because they call the interference. That's good on Coyle. Right now, as the penalty has been called, power plays on for the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs will have their first power play advantage in the third period. Just 18-21 to go in the third period. And the wave will put it up. Y'all get the mark. Man, what a save by Lena Solmark. Fernando will now take their third out of here. And this will we'll, we'll keep it out of his own. Shoots it and big save by Samson Ives. Logan now finds again a big man. Here's another take. Shoots it safe, puts it up by Lena Solmark. Warriors has got that puck back. The other way goes, right around the net. Lugrin's got it over now to Tadix. Finds again to McMahon. McMahon towards the wing. Loose that puck and now finds Boverspoon. Over to Carlo. Carlo again to Frederick. Frederick right towards the right wing. Shoots it! Save for the play here by Samsonov. Frederick now finds Carlo. Carlo and Bang! No sure getting a goal this time, as Samsonov will have that one clear in the puck. Different range for here. David Pashinas also has an error take one. He's also the ultimate captain, but has nickname called Pasta. Why is that called? Well, Pasta Manja? Not really all of it. They, call, they love him calling Pasta. That's what they all prefer him to have that name. And this is what they all can't say up because they've been looking it over and they are saying they love that one. For the CTEC national team, must be taken over here for about both junior and senior level, including one of his four world world championship games. I always know that one. The, the better fact that they call him Pasta is because they were selected here in the first round, the 25th overall pick, entering into the 2014 NHL season, the 2015. That was a sort of a range in there, and this was not how this was going to keep it easier enough. 
All that happens now. The ultimate captain just really had that one all saw that coming. They really know that one for sure. But you know, David Pasternak sniped that one all. And it's definitely a settling in about the bounds. But I know he might be able to do one of the better techniques. Keep it in there if he can. Power plays over now. That's right now. That's Samson Lop makes it over safe. 16 16 to go in the third. Well, great stop out there. I was really noticing that. That safe was it in for, for Lena Solmar, but great job for all the defenders of the Bruins. They've been trying to like keep it in here long and tight. They're really doing really well, but this is what they all can't do. They can't make a mess out of it instead. Marshan shoots it, rebound, and he scores. Charlie Quill with his first goal in game three against the Leafs. Well, that's what happened now. With well, Charlie Coyle, he had that one coming in there. Cutting it down with the screen, and then he just made that pickoff look. After putting the face up win, here's what he did. He tried to put it in the pass. He's right toward the middle, and then beats around the goaltender. He got that one stalled in there right now. Maple Leafs trying to make his answer way. It's now a 4-1 game. They trail by three. It's now Wolverspoon will have it across. Wolverspoon will now try to have an answer in, but Brody has that one taken away. And now back again to Warner. Here's Warner. Shoots! Saved by Omar. Back to Marchand again to Pasternak. That's his name. Pasta. Over across the angle. Get a little bit too close to that point. Now here's another one for Brody. Brody with his way to Matthews. Matthews trying to work his way across. Towards the middle. Man enough to beat it over again, but this one has been shut out. On another take it back. Another clutch save puts it in by Linus Omar. Fires the puck again to Marchand. Nice take down here on defensive lineup. Marshall Knox will try to reach group over. Shoots it! Corner rebound is what makes it in. Big save by Samson Oh, what a great chance out there. I like that. Samson was big picking up here for real. It all happened now. They try to let that one get into the flow. The habit working in it. And all that happened to go in between. This was really a hard one to have a chance over. Play it for real. Our life. Yeah, not go. Fine in. Shot blocking in. As Samson up with another piece of a save. We're under 50 minute mark right now. Still 4 1 game. And let me tell you this David Pachinox is definitely one of his all better in his taking. Playing career life, it happened right now in 2011 to 2012 season for the CSEC Republic of the National Team. We always expect him to have that one playing and coming about. You always know how he did? He does really well. I know he just gets things over, but that's what you always know for David Pasternak to have that. Another goal deflections, and they really are expecting to have that one playing here for all games long. It's not what they always do for, but that needs to keep it in here. A better look at the angle. Target it up, no comply. Here's the brush with the puck. Try to find an angle to Zaka shot. Big save puts up by Samsonov. Fouling for the loose puck of the chain. Young Crook. The Leafs will carry the puck. Find it back to Zaka. Big stop by Samsonov. 13.30 to go in the third quarter, third period of the game. They are sure enough to have that one responses, and I know that they are really trying to answer it back. Can't let that one fool you. To have another great way to make the protection in, get it through, get it done. Lock no shot. Oh, sends it off! Unbelievable save! Clear in there, great timing effort! I just never see that one coming because the Samsonov had that one coming with a big stop of the chain. Now they're off to another face-off. Looks like the Bruins really want some adding some extra speed, but the Tucker may not be what they were hunting for. McCabe now finds Bennett again to Nylander. Nylander right towards the right wing. We'll go down to Bennett. Shoots! Oh, that misses the target wide. Now he's back to boy. Plays it over now with the pass over now. Gives it over again to Brazu. Gives it up and over and right around the net. 
Here's Nylander. Went down. McElroy Scott across down on the other side. With the thinking the putt. Looks at a pass to the ring. Shoots one. Safe. Back to Nylander. 12-3 left to remain in the third period of the game. He fires that puck out. Back to Larray on the other side. Looks it over to Pasternak. Pasternak's trying to get over to get to Marchand. Marchand, Pasternak's to shoot and stop by Samsonov. 12-3 left to go in the third period. Trying to have that answer in. Now it's another takeover. 4-1 game. Now the win puts in for the Toronto Maple Leafs. He now gives again to LeGrand again to Marner. Back to Matthews. Matthews right towards the right slot. And Marchand now finds Pasternak. Takes a whip. Over now to Nice. Nice. Over now to Matthews. Shoots it. Oh, big save by Lina Solmark. How's that one coming in back? Just can't let that one fool you over because you don't take what Lina Solmark has. That was a little bit of a crush out of an ice single. And that one really may not be what they're expecting to say. How can that be a thing to get from here? They really have nothing but to get to through. So with that goals, they can't leave that mark alone here for Linus Almar. And he has to keep going with another save. Nice stop here for Samsonov. The press fighting along the boards. And Matthews has that fucking range now fighting over any other side of the zone. But the shot is stopped again by Loren. Matthews got that puck. Near the outside. In the middle, this one stopped again by Linus Almar. Under 11 minutes remaining in the third, 4 1 score. Now the win for the Bruins. The press will have that chance in right back towards the other side of the mound. Finding Zaka. 10.40 left to go in the third. Zaka. And it shoots. Big save on Sensenov. That one's really like a close angle for Sensenov to get that one. A great reach out and cover the puck away. Really have to be out there when you mean it. Here's another win, as now he gives it again to Wolverspoon, shoots it in a big save. Right, it's got the puck now, finds Wolverspoon. Shannon Kirk shoots one, he runs, back to Wolverspoon. This play's broken up the play, as now he's will have that puck in. In the home beach, home bench, Zaka got it across, toward the wing, here's the brush shot, big save on the pad here by Samsonov. Now Riley will have that across. And then we take over to Shenaker. Shenaker now finds Coyle. Coyle had that one coming inbound. Spokes it out of here and now finding Lambushka. Over now to Tabiers. Tabiers with the puck. 2 on 1 opportunity. The great stops and inbound by Elias Olmar. Riley now finds Jarquois. Almost to flick it in, but that one stayed out of the net. Really close call. Big saves on this play. It's just not what they all go for. And he makes another goal. Charlie Coyle with two goals in the game. Now it's a 4 2 game. It will be like they wanted to get that one back in the row. 4 3. And we know what we expect here for Charlie Coyle. Had that one here with the goals. The battery mounting with the play in it. You can see what happens. That player, that switch, had to be across here from Samsonov. Had that one coming about. That one takes it in there. Or at least the goaltender with that a reaction. He didn't really think he was going to get that one in there. Uh, one timing of his angle. And it's not turning well what they are expecting it for. Keep it in there on the long side. And the goal's not going to be easy enough to keep it in there. Good. Morgan Riley will now have it over into the wing. And with the shot, it's Omar with the save. Under nine minutes to go in the third period. Four twos to score for the Maple Leafs. They're trying to catch things up. Brad Marchand has a no contest ability. He's trying to have a, another answer with his all of a take. He's really laying like, all into a heat pressure. But this might be what they're expecting for if he can have it all down a bit again. I'll see if Brad Marchand has it across. 
Riley now finds Saviors. Yarbrook shot. Big step and a pad by Omar. And we're now to Yarbrook. Hurry, man! This one stayed out. David Pasha knocks down by Marchand. Marchand toward the middle. It blocked it up again. Marchand trying to cover the fucking bound. Watching that whip out here. Whereas it shoots, and it stops again by Samson off. Trying to get the puck out of range in the least territory. Now it is Yonkrook. Yonkrook now into the blue zone. Shoots! Saved by Olmark. Grasic now finds McAvoy. Gets pushed out. Pulls it now to Grasic. Grasic on his way down right towards the new league zone. Puts it up to Laco. For one! Oh, what a save on a chance play! As Samsonov comes in to stop that play and bound. Really easy. You can definitely know for that Samsonov got it pretty well enough to get that one stopped over. And it's not really what they all know for. Expecting that goals didn't really matter. In fact, they played really well that one. More hard times to get there through. They're really expecting it now. Have it done right, get it through. Jersey shoots and save. Puts up by Omar. For the rebound chance, for another one! Hallmark takes the save. 7.06 to go in the third period. Still looking for a goal ahead. In the goal, to have that extension up, or to tie this game up for the Bruins. Now the win for Domi. Clears it! Off to the side, defender traffic, and now back to Bertuzzi. Now they're going to lose back in the chain. Terzi gives it over to get a Brody. Brody to Nylander. Killed on with that puck and now finds Domi. And a shot. This one stopped by Elias Allmark. Locko back the arrow away with 6.30 to go. Here's another take. Another one misses the shot. Another deflection in and now back to Brody. Brody went down. Zaka trying to feel it out a little bit on pressure. Keeps the puck out of his own. Jersey now finds Lilgren. Again to Matthews. Matthews trying to make its way across over back the airway. He went down. That's a big hit. Nobody had that one seen that coming in there. They were really expecting now that we do not like what the Bruins are making a hit over it. I can't really tell them how they're doing this. That is just hard, painful, killer. I mean, ooh, that's a hard one to take. The number save puts it up by Sentinel. Keep it out there. There's no way to slow that thing down. We gotta have another takeover in between. Say, puts it up later by Omar. Now as it across the other side, it's David Kopsonov's the kind of hook save by Sentinel. 5.14 left to go in the third period. Still so looking like they wanted to have that goal in there. Again, stopping down. Now both teams are set ready for the face-off. Four twos to score as they're up by two for the Leafs. Pioneer's got that puck back to McAvoy. Great stop at a chain by Samsonov. Coaches play over as Nays will have it. He's trying to have it over the pass over to Riley. Here's a shot for Labushkin. Two time effort. Save by Olmark. And the press will have it over on the other side to McAvoy. Over and again. Now find Heine. Heine towards the right way, he went down. Back away, gives it again, shoots, it's blocked. Matthews has got that puck of under five minutes. Toward the right wing, loses that way, that third. Coyle trying to get it out. Riley back to Nylander. Nylander over to Matthews, he makes a shot. That was off the glass, and this one goes back to Nylander. Brody gives it again to Lugrand, shoots it. Now enough to beat the goaltender right away. away. As it now has it over. One target on by Olmark. Oh, they're still wanting to have that number of goals in there. Looks like the Maple Leafs are better than the Bruins. But why in the world would they do that? Now with the call, I have light bulb. Let's have your take. Austin Matthews did really well on this shock and awe ability. He was really taking all of that effortless to have it in there for defining a number of his, his goal ideas. The goal ideas is making it a really amazing one. But I'm really sure that opinion is my option choice. That's going to be a great look for Austin Matthews if the team keeps him up 
for the next game in round two. Nylander fires that puck up on around the net with under 3.30 to go. Carlo will have his chance. Swings around. Finds the pass to Marchand. Marchand. Able to try to make a shot. This one's broken up. Nylander's got that puck back again to Domi. Oh, a low moment in the center ice. Domi went down and oh, there looks like they're doing it. Uh-huh, I know that was going to happen now, but that is not good at all. The Jersey had a little bit of argue agreement. You're coming in tonight to destroy me? That is no joke at all. I am never liking that call, because that one put in a lot of fighting. They hate that call. They don't want that. Let them hit it. Let it handle. And the fight is over. Leafs bring your energy gain for the group. And so right now, the Petrucci has that one to save for Domi. He is definitely going in the penalty box. Both guys in. I was able to see what Petrucci had done. And fortunately, with his better of his uh, number two uh, on both guys, they really are expecting that. They are really are starting to fight things over. This is why they call the rivals in the second round. They really have been not nice at all. But that Stanley Cup has been not turning out will ever take right in between of a line. That needs to stay out of it on a clean side. And I just will have that puck over in with under three minutes in the final period of the game. Matthews with the puck. Now trying to cut his way down. Matthews. The pass over now flying it over. Debrody. Nice. Loose the puck range and bound. Now he's will have it again to Matthews. Trying to give off to Brody. Brody again to Lugren. Still no penalty call on Boston Bruins. Nice. The shoot one. This way is to fuck it off. Lorray back to DeBrus. DeBrus right towards the wing. On the right. Knock a shot. Go for it. Never take it. He makes the save. But snaps it off. No chance for an open wound goal. Great stuff play here by the goaltender. You know, everybody's feeling like that. I mean, that's what they all know for. Keep that one aside from you. All expected now for Elias Samsonov, he's playing really well. The number stop made by Olivia Solberg. We're nearing the 90 second mark. Getting ready for an her face off. Naka wins the face off as Lorraine will now have it over on a better chance of ability. Diagonal again to Marchand. Their group is going to bring an extra skater on to have a close game. Pajidok shot. What a big save by Samsonov. Are you kidding me? He's just stopping in there for good. Keep it in here. I don't know what they all know for. And Marchand has been trying to get his goal back down by one, but that was nowhere to be defended. Now their extra skater comes on. Big stop by Samsonov. Labushkin now finds Riley. Riley on his way down. Trying to block and defend it. Misses the target outside. McMahon loses the puck. And McMahon will have it. He scores. That's going to take in to bring it up the play on a man in the advantage. It's now over. Justin, you can always say for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're all just making that support. I know they really are trying to have that one on a harder playing inbound, but that's what they all can definitely share on. Playing that for real life, I mean, just when you do, you don't give up, and you just uh, keep on going. Bruins fans are a little bit disappointed right now, but that is what they all just expected. They can't leave that one alone. Good win puts it in for the Maple Leafs. Now fires are off the cross and it goes man down. Frederick with the puck. Back again to Riley. Nylander shoots it and it's off the deflection in. Carlo back the airway now finding Heinen. Team is winding down. Heinen over now. Shoots it, scores. Not enough to beat the goaltender, but that one will not be able to, to tie this game up, unfortunately. This has to be the end of it for keeping it in. The same thing that goes with game number one. But the arrow one for game two, not nah, enough to beat there. Ever say now, because that's what you always do behind it. They give it over to Geeky. That goal turned to be great. Looking okay at the moment, but hey, 
That's what the Scotty Bank Arena does for Maple Leafs. They will either win and get back in the lead. Maple Leafs wins the faceoff. Brody will get to Mays in the top. Great win here for the Royal Maple Leafs as they win this game 5-3 over the Bruins. You now know what happens. Samsonov, excellent player of the game for game number three. Let's go home and celebrate. We can't wait to have that one all. And salute to the fans for sure. We appreciate all their hard work and their company. So that's going to wrap it up here, folks. Paintbrush here along with Terry Cruz and Center Ice Lightbulb. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Hope everyone's having fun right now. And with this being said, have a great night and so long to Toronto. Adios. Peace. All right, the guys, thank you so much. Three-star players are on the inbound. The Terzi only had his goal, but the second star goes to Linus Allmark with 34 saves. Had that one coming in there, a great look at a great glove save on the stop without swimming, but you lay up Simpson up, has 89 saves, and that's your number one star of the game. Really getting pressure out there. They keep it in here on good time tepper. 92 over 70 for our total shots on goal for Boston Bruins. Number 74 over 68 for Boston Bruins. 638 over 620 for Boston Bruins again. 94 over 93 passing. Well, it looks like the Bruins really want to have it all. And it was only 36 face-off wins for Toronto with a 7-minute penalty kill for Boston and only 5-minute penalty kill for Toronto. Just no power play goal, only 2 minutes to spare. Well, that was an exciting matchup. Especially to the arrival of this game in the second round in Game 3 in Toronto. They expected, we want Leafs. That's all for Leafs rule. Instead of Boston Bruins taking it over. But that was not how it all happened. It's what they need to do to keep that one stayed out and buried it. Well, let's hope that this happens to be Game 4. And keep it in here like they did. So that's about it right now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. And stick around for tomorrow night. We've got two of each games underway, the Lightning and the Hurricanes, first game at 7.30 p.m. at Amali Arena, and then the second game will be the Stars facing against the Jets at Canada's Life Century. Coverage starts at 9 p.m. That will be on the other side of it for 9.30 game, and a 9 p.m. game will be, all you know it, Golden Knights at home in T-Mobile Arena facing against the Vancouver Canucks on the other side of the team. With that being said, peace out folks for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We'll see you all again next time. Peace out to the world and to everybody for another postseason of the NHL. See you later everybody for tomorrow night's guide. Adios everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.